Yeah, well, Europe's comp competing on a global stage. Telecommunications is global, so we need global standards, and that's the challenge we have. Hello, welcome to the Etno FT Summit here in Brussels. Uh, joining me to talk about some of the issues coming up is Malcolm Johnson, the director of the International Telecommunication Union. Thank you for being here. Pleasure. Now, you're speaking today. Give us, give us an idea what the main talking points in your speech are going to be. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about uh, a conference we've got coming in, in Dubai at the end of this year. <clears throat> it's to revise the, um, the International Treaty on Telecommunications. And um, there are a lot of concerns about this conference. First time, you know, the treaty's been opened up for 24 years, so a lot of new issues, and um, it's the subject of a lot of discussion. Uh, there's been a, quite a bit of in misinformation about it, so I just want to clarify some, some of the issues. There are many um, issues around now that uh, weren't of a concern in 1988 when the treaty was adopted. I mean, mobile communications has exploded since then. Uh, of course, we've got the internet, uh, and uh, we've got privatization, liberalization throughout most of the world now. But there are, there are a number of issues you know, that related to that that need to be addressed and that are concerns in, in many countries throughout the world that are not uh, covered by this treaty. And will they be coming along to Dubai? Do you, will they be, be involved at, at least a talking level? Yeah, we've got, um, ITU has got 193 governments that are members of ITU. Um, but we also have a big um, uh, industry membership. <clears throat> we have uh, several hundred uh, companies, operators, vendors, um, including other organizations, standards organizations, all members of ITU. So <clears throat> they're all uh, coming together and preparing for this conference. But of course, because it's a treaty conference, it's the member states that will be doing the negotiating. Um, but of course, before they get to Dubai, they're going to be lobbied by their industries and their you know, respective uh, constituents. So they'll be bringing uh, uh, their position, national positions to this conference. It's only 10 days, um, but at the end of it, we hope to have a new treaty on international telecommunications, which will um, establish a new international regulatory framework to take forward um, the telecommunications, information communication technologies into the future, and especially to encourage uh, market forces to address some of the concerns, uh, such as investment in networks, uh, that uh, a number of, um, uh, of people have concerns about. Well, I mean, this is one of the big areas where the EU, the European Commission and so forth, there are various instruments, financial instruments, to encourage, mm. uh, well, to, to make up the shortfall in this investment. So, I mean, uh, what do you see are the main problems, particularly from an EU standpoint? Well, uh, the EU has got a very good uh, regulatory framework, <clears throat> but of course uh, telecommunications is global. You know, I mean, the European companies are competing at a global level. So really what um, we would like to see is this conference being able to extend some of these good practices, regulatory practices, uh, onto the global stage so that we have this uh, framework throughout the world and uh, then places everybody on an equal footing to compete. Um, so that's one of the main things, especially from the industry side. They would like to see, you know, to have a, a global framework to, to com compete to on a level playing field. And do you think the model of some of the uh, standards and, and legislation we have in Europe might be a model for other countries to follow? Yes, I mean, we, um, <clears throat> you know, Europe is a, is a main player in ITU, but uh, we have six regions in ITU. Um, and uh, our standards are, are international standards, so they're adopted throughout the world. Well, of course, we get European input to the development of these standards, so some of them are based on European standards, but they could be based on Asian standards, Chinese standards. Uh, the challenge we have is to get global agreement to things such as technical standards, but also this regulatory framework. Okay, thank you very much. Do stay with us on views.eu for more interviews from the FT Etno Summit.